All right, so this marijuana addiction survey gateway, whatever this shit is, supposed to ask questions though. I already did my little survey terms and whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna say that this is accurate, but whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Was I about to say that can't be the question? All right, male or female? Well, obviously male. <laughs> I can't see the other option. What the heck? What influenced you to first use it? Close family member, extended family, family friend, personal friend. Like, what's all this friend shit? <laughs> Environmental. Inf- well, I can't see the last. I I can't see the last option. So I guess we'll go with environmental influences. <laughs> what was your fr- When was your last use of it? Well, duh. Of course, I'm high right now. Canna bastard? Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even notice this advertisement. How do you prefer to use eh, edibles, oil? Oh, I can only use one? Oh, damn. Average throughout the year, are you a user? Weekend warrior? Daily user once, daily user twice. Does your spouse or relationship partner use? No, I don't. <laughs> These options aren't really like helping. Does your spouse or relationship? I don't have a relationship partner, so I'm just gonna choose the last one and see what happens. Do members of your family? I'm. I just choose the last answer. I'm. Do your friends? Yeah, it depends. I don't really vape that much. Because sometimes I can get work done, even if I am that high. Have you been to work with you? Rarely. No, marijuana has no effect on my job performance. And actually, it's kind of boring me because I'm not actually doing anything. I'm using potential energy, not kinetic energy. Do you use marijuana for while driving? Yeah, I can drive and smoke. So, All right, so only select. I'm going to assume that that's what it says since I can't see the rest. Have you ever sold anything to read? I don't need to sell anything. That's what jobs are for. Yeah, <laughs> it's part of my regular budget, okay? You got to have that or otherwise you're going to just be out of it. Here's the thing. Before I even go forward, if I had a job where I was just like stopping and didn't have to interact with anybody, I would stop smoking. Like, just like that. Because that's the main reason why I am, though. Aside from like back when I had family problems, though, most of my problems that I used to smoke, by the way, guys... Is because of work. So just FYI. All right, marijuana drive you in the view of underage children. No. I don't think kids these days even fuck with that. Nope, never been in trouble with the law. Because Prop 81 says it has to be cool. I do not have a legal basis. I don't get medical career, Mana. It's just a bunch of games they're playing. Do you use marijuana for your psychological condition? Well, I used to take out a roll, so gotta have a substitute for something. I want to say depression and bipolar. I'm not gonna say personality disorder because I don't even know what that is. This freaking survey is long as fuck. All right, so current treatment. Are you currently being treated for psychological? No. When was the first time you? When was the first time you tried to quit using it? Uh, try just more. All right, what memos have you tried to stop? I quit while incarcerated, though. That never happened to me. Have you ever been to a drug rehab? No. Why do I have to confirm these answers and then click twice? I never know. This is actually taking me out of my high, though. <laughs> How ironic, though. A marijuana survey taking me out of my high. Like, holy fucking shit. I don't feel, like, all that good about... Like, I shouldn't have to, like, sign and agree to say that I've used it just to sign a survey. That should be something personally kept. Yet, here we are having to make that a requirement for me to complete this survey. WTF. You ever been treated specifically for marijuana dependence? I don't even know what that means. Do you think you are marijuana? Yeah, I don't. I don't find a reason to stop though. It's a hypothetical use. So if you were offered fifty, can we just stop using? Hell yeah! 
Fifty dollars a week, shit. So five hundred dollars for the next six months. If you were offered a thousand dollars to quit smoking, if you offer a thousand dollars forever, <laughs> yeah, increase that shit to five thousand, partner. Oh shit. What brought you to marijuana gangs? Stop Oregon marijuana addiction survey. I was seeking membership about the cannabis club. The fuck? I was reading about the specific marijuana shirts. I was looking to play Wii games. Need information about clubs, coffee shops, dispensaries. I don't even know where that is in Portsmouth. I was trying to produce, pursue, pursue. What? You guys gotta finish your website, dude. I can't read the rest of this shit that's here. No, I was just looking to play Wii games. I feel highly motivated. To... All right. Too many answers. <laughs> Only three answers a lot. Okay, fine. All right, um, and last question. Some research and statistics shows that approximately 9% of marijuana users will become dependent. Do you think this is accurate? Well, it seems about right to me, but let me see the other options. The rates of marijuana dependence are probably much higher. I do not believe that marijuana dependence addiction is possible. Can't see the, li can't see the last option, so I'll just go with the second best option. All right, thank you for taking the minute. Uh, results will be collected to the end of the year. At the time, we're completing a reasonable report of information. If you'd like to be placed on an advanced list to receive... Oh, well, I didn't get, get to re read it yet. <sighs> well, that was the marijuana survey, though, so I hope you guys had something to think about while we went on your website today. Um, if you guys want to take the survey, it's marijuana games. So, uh, 